In The Strange High House in the Mist, H.P. Lovecraft crafts a tale that immerses readers in a world where the boundaries between reality and the supernatural blur. This short story is a quintessential example of Lovecraft's ability to evoke cosmic horror through atmospheric details and a sense of foreboding. The narrative unfolds with the protagonist, a curious young man named Richard Upton, who is driven by a fascination with an old, mysterious house perched high on a cliff. The setting is crucial in Lovecraft's story, as it contributes significantly to the eerie and unsettling mood. The house, shrouded in mist and isolation, becomes a symbol of the unknown and the unknowable. It stands as a testament to Lovecraft's theme of humanity's insignificance in the face of cosmic forces. The atmosphere of the story is rich with descriptions that emphasize the desolate and otherworldly nature of the house and its surroundings. Lovecraft meticulously describes the fog that envelopes the landscape, giving it an almost sentient quality. This mist is not merely a weather phenomenon but a manifestation of the story's supernatural elements, adding to the sense of dread and mystery. Richard's journey to the High House reveals Lovecraft's exploration of human curiosity and its potential for self-destruction. The protagonist's obsession with the house leads him to confront a reality that is far more terrifying than he could have anticipated. Lovecraft uses Richard's quest as a vehicle to explore the idea that there are aspects of existence that are beyond human comprehension and control. The more Richard learns about the house, the more he realizes that it is linked to ancient, malevolent forces that defy human understanding. Lovecraft's use of the first-person narrative perspective enhances the story's tension and intimacy. Through Richard's eyes, readers experience the growing sense of dread and the gradual revelation of the house's true nature. This perspective allows Lovecraft to build suspense and create a personal connection between the reader and the protagonist's terrifying experiences. The narrative style contributes to the sense of inevitability and doom that pervades the story. The house itself is a character in its own right, embodying the themes of isolation and the uncanny. Its high, precarious position on the cliff makes it both literally and metaphorically distant from the normal world. Lovecraft's detailed descriptions of the house's architecture and its eerie silence further enhance its role as a symbol of the unknown and the forbidden. The house's isolation from the rest of society mirrors the isolation of the cosmic entities that Lovecraft often depicts in his work. As the story progresses, Lovecraft delves deeper into the mythos surrounding the house. The legend of the house and its previous inhabitants introduces elements of ancient and forbidden knowledge, suggesting that there are truths about the universe that are too dangerous for humans to comprehend. Lovecraft's use of myth and legend adds depth to the narrative, connecting the house to a broader, more sinister cosmic scheme. The climax of the story is a powerful demonstration of Lovecraft's ability to evoke horror through suggestion rather than explicit description. The final revelation about the house and its inhabitants is both unsettling and thought-provoking. Lovecraft leaves much to the imagination, allowing readers to fill in the gaps with their own fears and anxieties. This approach amplifies the horror, as the unknown is often more terrifying than anything that can be explicitly described. In conclusion, The Strange High House in the Mist exemplifies Lovecraft's mastery of atmospheric horror and his ability to convey the terror of the unknown. Through its vivid descriptions, unsettling atmosphere, and exploration of cosmic dread, the story remains a powerful example of Lovecraftian horror. The High House, isolated and enigmatic, stands as a symbol of the cosmic forces that lie beyond human understanding, reinforcing the central theme of humanity's vulnerability in the face of a vast and indifferent universe.